In today's video, we are going to implement two-factor authentication in Django. We will be implementing 2FA using an authenticator app like Google Authenticator, which generates time-based OTPs. Two-factor authentication adds an extra layer of security to our user account by requiring not just a password but also a second piece of information that only the user has. So let's see how the flow will work. First, user login with their email and password. If the user have 2FA enabled, then the user will be prompted to enter an OTP from their Authenticator app. Let's take an overview of the app that we are going to build in this video. So this is the login page and here we can log in with email and password. Two-factor authentication was not enabled for this user account. So we get directly redirected to the profile page. And here we can enable two-factor authentication. So this QR code have some information like user's email, app name and some secrets. So when you scan this QR code with Authenticator app, it will read that data and start generating time based OTPs and then you can get that OTP from the Authenticator app and when you verify this OTP, it will enable the two-factor authentication. So next time when you log in, it will ask you to verify your account with the OTP that you will get on your Authenticator app. Let's start with installing some required packages like PyOTP, QR code and pillow. PyOTP is a library that is used to generate and verify time based OTPs and QR code will be used to generate QR code and this pillow library will be used to manipulate some images that are generated by QR code. So in my case, these are already installed. Instead of building Django project from scratch, we already have some login logout functionality so that we can focus on implementing two-factor authentication. So let's start by creating user model. So here we are creating a custom user that inherits from abstract user and we are adding two fields. One is care field that store the MFA secret and second one is a boolean field to check that 2FA is enabled or not and in the project setting, we will add auth user model to our custom user. So here we have the profile page where we need to add a QR code so that we can scan that QR code with Authenticator app. So in the profile view, we are just rendering HTML. Now we need to render QR code. So first we will import PyOTP and QR code and then we retrieve the current logged in user and this checks if the user does not already have MFA secret. If the user does not have one, it means the user have not set that to FA yet. And then we will save the new generated secrets to the user profile in the database and this line creates an OTP object using users multi-factor authentication secret and generates provisioning URI. The provisioning URI is the URL that contain all the information the authenticator app needs to generate OTPs and this specify the name that will be displayed in the authenticator app and this sets the name of our application and here we use the QR code library to generate QR code from the OTP URI. This QR code will be scanned by the user's authenticator app to link it to their account. And then we create a buffer to hold the QR code image data. And then we save the generated QR code to the buffer in PNG format. And here we encodes the binary image data in base64 format and decodes it to UTF-8 string. This is necessary for embedding the image directly in HTML. And here we constructs our data URI that can be used in HTML image tag to display the QR code and then we render the profile.html and pass the QR code data URI as context. And here we check if users 2FA is not enabled then we display the QR code and now let's check it in browser. So you can see we get the QR code on our profile page. If we scan this QR code with Google Authenticator app, we will get the OTP. Now we need to add a functionality to verify that OTP in profile.html we will create a form in which we have an input field for OTP and we have a hidden input field that have current logged in user's ID and we will send the post request to this endpoint so here we have the endpoint where we call verify MFA view and in this view we first get the user ID and OTP we are using user ID to get the user because we will use same view when we are trying to get the OTP from login process where user will be unauthenticated and then we will verify the OTP using this function. So this function take user and OTP in the parameter and in this function we are using by OTP to verify the OTP and if the OTP is correct we will set the MFA true in the user field and then this function will return true and if the OTP is incorrect then this function will return false. So here we verify the OTP using this function and return the success message and then redirect it to profile and if the user is not authenticated during the login process after verifying the OTP 
we will log in that user and if the OTP is incorrect, we will return the error and uh, redirect to profile. On get request on this view, we will render OTP verify HTML. We will discuss this when we are working on login process. So now let's test it on browser. We will get a field to enter the OTP. Now if we scan this QR code with Google Authenticator app, you will get the OTP and just enter the OTP here. So Google Authenticator will generate new OTP in every 30 seconds. So after verifying the OTP, 2FA is successfully enabled for this user account. Now we need to create a functionality that if the 2FA is enabled, we can get an option to disable it. So in the profile.html, if the user's multi-factor authentication is not enabled, we will display this. Else we will display a button to disable the 2FA. And here we send the get request to this URL. And here we have defined the path. So when we receive the get request on this view, we first make sure that the user is logged in and then we get the user from session. And if the user's MFA enabled, we set it to false and save the user to database and return the success message that 2FA has been disabled. If we check it on browser, then you can see here 2FA is enabled for this user account. So here we get the button to disable 2FA and if we disable it, we can get again the QR code to enable it. Right now we have completed the process where we enable two-factor authentication from user profile. Now we need to check when user trying to log in that if uh, 2FA is enabled, we will ask the user for OTP. So here we have defined the path for login, which will call this view. And in this view, we will get the email and password from login page where we have input field email and password that will send post request to the login URL. So in the view, we get that email and password and authenticate that user if user exists in the database or not. If user exists, we will first check that user's MFA is enabled or not. MFA refers to multi-factor authentication. So if user's MFA is enabled, we will render OTP verify HTML and send the user ID. So here we need user ID because user is not logged in. So we cannot get the user ID from session. So if user's MFA is not enabled, we will log in the user as normal. And if the username and password is incorrect, we will return the error. So if the user's MFA is enabled, we render this HTML. So in the OTP verify HTML, we have a form where we have an input field for OTP and a hidden input field where we have a user ID. Then we will send the post request to this URL. So we already send post request while we are verifying the OTP from profile. And again, we are using the same view when verifying from login process. So in this view, we first get the user ID and OTP, and then we get the user object from user ID and verify the OTP and if the user is not authenticated, we will log in the user. And if the OTP is incorrect, we will display the message. Okay, now let's check the complete flow on browser. So first we log in with the email and password. 2FA was not enabled, so we get a QR code to enable it. And now you can scan this QR code and you will get the OTP in your Google Authenticator app. And then you can enter that OTP here and verify that OTP. And now we have enabled the two-factor authentication for this user account and if we try to log in with username and password it will ask for the OTP to verify you can enter the OTP from your Google Authenticator app and then you will be logged in so that's all for the video if you found this useful you can like the video don't forget to subscribe this channel